Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, we have another Google Chrome update. This is very surprising. What's even more surprising is that the first one that I talked about yesterday uh, didn't seem to have any info on it. I can't find anything about it. So uh, we, we saw that Edge had bug fixing updates. Maybe Chrome had bug fixing updates also. Uh, it could be that both the browsers had some issues. So uh, Chrome had an update. I talked about it yesterday. I thought it was maybe the security updates, but nope. Today's the security updates. So if you go into your Chrome browser, upper right corner three of vertical dots, go into help, go about Google Chrome, you will be moved to version 133.0.6943.98 or 99, depending on Linux, Mac, or Windows. So this fixes four high severity security flaws, two of them in V8 scripting engine. One is an out of bonds memory problem. Um, there's also a navigation and there's one for the user interface. That's also a, a problem. So four security flaws that are being fixed. So that means that yesterday we probably had some bug fixes, I would guess, um, although we don't have much info on it. So I think today is the important day for the updates. And so uh, you'll, a lot of you will be surprised and say, what, again? Yep, again. But that also means that later this week uh, for Edge, we should have uh, security updates. So another update uh, probably uh, Thursday or Friday. And uh, if you're using a Chromium-based browsers like uh, Brave, Opera, Vivaldi, and so on, you probably will need also an update this week. So check out your browsers. It should appear within the next few hours or days, depending on how fast the manufacturer, the company behind the browser actually works in fixing its bugs. So it's very important to apply these updates because they are your first line of defense. Your browsers are there as the first line with the internet for the most part and having them up to date for the security flaws to be uh, closed uh, is very important as not to infect or have problems with your PC. Remember, on security flaws, chances of your antivirus seeing anything is very low to close to zero, and they can easily um, you know, get into your system. Uh, remember, antivirus is not to be trusted. What's to be trusted is the updates and what you do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.